compared to all the competitors, they shoot that kernel down versus uh, uh, some kind of a seed belt or something. There's so much more simplicity to the planter. And so that's very intriguing. Uh, the fact that they use an iPad to control the planter and monitor it. The overall tempo concept uh, between uh, the technology, the row unit, the meter, I come away impressed because I, uh, the, the best phrase I could use is it's well, well thought out. In, in the design process, they realized uh, this has got to be strong, it's got to be reliable, it's got to be able to cover acres and go over varying conditions, but let's also uh, keep it from being too complicated. Uh, reduce the, the moving parts, it reduces maintenance and adds longevity to the planter, but it also needs to be accurate. And it does all these things, so I, I come away impressed. The simplicity, I mean, it's a complicated planter, but it's also simple. Um, that row meter is just very simple and it just seems to work. And I think that's guys, a lot of this machinery seems like it's almost getting overly complicated at times. And the simpler that it can work, but do what it's supposed to do, um, guys are looking for that too. And, if, and I think this machine can definitely do that. I think that the, the Tempo Planner is something that farmers are going to realize could be a good fit on their operation because of, of what it can deliver and do it in an efficient manner. It's, uh, it, it's something different than what we're used to seeing because now we're, we're used to all the moving parts and the complexity of some of these meters. But I, I think it's going to catch their eye when they realize what it, what it can do and, and what it really involves. Um, this Vaterstad one, this is the first one that I've used as a high speed. Um, you know, just been a, doing comparisons on it with a, a per hour machine, per hour. My old one, I was at the speed I was running at that was about 40 acres an hour. Now all of a sudden this, running with this one, same size planter, but I'm doing 60 acres an hour. So you start adding an extra 20 acres an hour on your operation every day, that starts to add up pretty fast. It's just allows me to, when it's ready, and maybe I can wait, I don't have to push it quite as early where the conditions aren't just perfect. I can be like, well, okay, maybe I can wait a day now that I have this capability so I can get it put in a soil, better soil conditions and being able to go at it. Well, typically we were planting corn between four and five miles an hour, and we would plant our beans between five and five and a half miles an hour. Um, but with this planter, we were going six and a half to seven and a half. A lot of times we planted at seven and a half miles an hour. And our issue this year was the power capability of our tractor is what kept us from going faster. We, I could not get comfortably more than seven and a half miles an hour out of this our tractor. As I said, I could not drive eight or ten miles an hour, but I'd really be excited to try to plant with this planter at ten miles an hour because I think it's entirely possible here with, with the way this planter is built. Yeah, the Tempo K, you know, that's one of their claims that they have is just their accuracy on the on the row unit. And one thing I did notice this year was just my emergence was really even this year out in the fields, and the skips and the doubles were down to a minimum. Um, it was hard to find them. And then just once the crop got up and the plants started setting ears on it, they always wanted that, they call photocopy on plants. And we were able to see that this year. I mean, it was just, every ear was the same size and just, even nice and evenly spaced out. So I was really impressed how the Temple K did with all of that. The planter worked great throughout the season. Um, you know, the simplicity of the planter and the ease of adjustments is what's really nice about it. Well, again, we've been weather challenged in this area. So when we checked the fields after planting, we had very good emergence. Uh, our uh, population was correct, what we were shooting for. 
So I think the planter did its job, it's just the weather events that we've had since planting. Still though, the, the stand that came from those fields, even though it was ultimately a challenging seed bed, we're, we're really pleased with it. And uh, in, in review of the Vatterstead planter, uh, we're really pleased. Uh, it's an impressive unit. It's, you, you look at what uh, Wilrich knows how to use steel. That's well known and it's been known for a long time. So you combine that with, with the, uh, the unique row unit, the parallel linkage the Vatterstead has, which is unique to the industry. Just comparing that from my, the year before when I used my old planter compared to now with the Temple K, I have noticed there's a lot less doubles out in the field and less, less skips in it too. So my spacing has been a lot more consistent on it. And uh, just the evenness going through the field, I can tell that, it's, uh, that we had a good depth consistency with the planter and everything. So it's been the consistency on the ears, spacing and everything's looked fantastic this year. The seed meter certainly stands out because there, there's nothing else like that in the industry. I mean, is there positive air pressure? Yes. But the, especially the way that they redesign the seed tube, so it's the, the positive air pressure helps to deliver the seed into the furrow without, without a moving belt. But you're also doing it at high speed and you're doing it with effective, consistent spacing. That, that's very unique uh, and, and something that really caught my eye.